Goodbye to Trump. He is finally gone. We're saying goodbye. Goodbye, Trump. See ya. Goodbye. See you later. Nice knowing you. Goodbye. We are saying so long to Trump Tuesday. It's been a uh, staple for the past, what, eight months? Has it been that long? <laughs> oh, my yeah. goodness. We've been doing Trump Tuesday since wow. at least January of this year. So uh, we're going to say goodbye to Trump Tuesday. Politics are. are still going to stay, unfortunately. Don't because... you worry. We still have opinions. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Uh, we're so, just going to be uh, changing it up a little bit yeah, here at Cold yeah. Discussions. And uh, today we're going to say goodbye to Trump, and we're going to throw a little bit of other politics in it. Uh, you won't see as much politics on our channel. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, well, we did make a promise that we were going to do things different, and this is part of the, the change. Yeah, yeah. The, the cha change. Change is good. Change is very good. Yeah, not, um, not not like like YouTube change where they change everything just because. Yeah. And you go, well, yeah. what the hell did they do? We're trying to change in a positive way yes yes exactly it's all about positivity all about positive so anyways uh trump sticking his foot in his mouth some more really i see kind of I, um, I think okay so trump gave a speech at the un did you watch it or did you just get the highlights from everybody i just got the highlights okay and what did you think of the highlights it's just trump being trump okay that's what i thought i'm like man it's trump and, being and trump that's what he does he i watched the speech and his speechwriter is, damn it, give your that guy a raise. He's good. Like he knows how to give a speech. He knows how to throw some passion behind it. However, he's not speaking to Americans, and you could tell because there was no hip hip hurrah behind everything. I don't um, think Trump is a big hip hip hurrah kind of guy. He well, hasn't to me. He doesn't seem like he is anyway. Look, look, look at his political rallies. Right. That that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like when he talks, people go woo. Yeah. But this wasn't a place where people go, woo, and he, I, I'm really happy for him as a politician because he doesn't mince words. He said so many things that are going to be taken out of context. Oh, huge. Like, just, Is that the speech where he threatened North Korea or was that yeah. somewhere else? Yeah. He oh, yeah. said that Korea is going to get get his. and I uh, said, uh, loser... Rocket Man, is that uh, what they... He called him Rocket Man. He called uh, loser terrorists. Uh, he, he said so many things that are like... Well, they're not political. They're not yeah. politician. They're not politician-ish. I don't even know. I can't even think of the word. But, you know, politicians are very um, known for being very... Uh, evasive. Yeah. There you go. They're very evasive. And him, Trump, he's not. He's just like, you're going to get it if you keep yeah, doing it, what you're going to do. It, it, his point was, if they decide to attack the U.S. or our allies, we're going to destroy them. And, and this is like, uh, so I was reading uh, somebody's opinion about this, and they were saying, it's like, well, he just threatened to destroy a nation of 22 million. Well, he threatened to destroy a nation of 22 million after they, they were attacked, yeah. which could potentially destroy, destroy a nation of 350 million. million. Yeah. So... Um, so really, wiping out the equivalent of the city of New York, or wiping out the uh, the the country of the U.S. Mm, you know, it, people are like, "Oh, he's horrible! He's horrible!" And it's like, no, I I think these are the types of speeches that are needed. You know, he's saying the world should be the this uh, the people should be worried uh, politicians should be worried about the people in their own country they yeah. should take care of the people yeah. in their own country I think we've said that before I think we've we've come from the take care of your own thing it, it it'd be like if you like decided you wanted to buy your neighbor's groceries before you buy your own groceries mm. it, that wouldn't make a lot of sense so politicians are saying you know he's saying in a sense buy your own groceries first and then if you have some left help your neighbor out yeah. And which is makes it so logical that it's illogical. Yeah. Um, and and then that, that's the thing. So I applaud Trump. It, um, if you just go by the um, uh, what people say in the news, Trump was an asshole. But if you actually listen to his speech, it was actually a pretty good speech. Um, honestly, if he had said this in front of a crowd of Americans, there'd be. Cheering, cheering everywhere because everything he said was as far as I'm concerned the truth like you know yeah so uh, this is 
Trump's this is Trump's first speech to to the UN. He he gave it well compared to say our prime minister. Yeah, who also you know it'll be interesting to see um, his because the president does a State of the Union every year, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. It'll be interesting to see his first State of the Union, first State of the yes, Union, yes. and that's what coming up. I honestly don't know when in they November. Do. I would think. Oh I would think, yeah, because it's he got elected in November, yeah, so I'm yeah, assuming yeah. he would come in in November and be like, da 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 da, ha ha ha. This is what we're doing. How good we are. So and yeah, compared to our prime minister, uh, I didn't. Our, I didn't see anything from our prime minister. So our prime minister also gave a speech to the. But UN, I can only imagine. And it was like the equivalent of airing your dirty laundry uh, in a family gathering. Like, mm. you and your spouse, you know, you have a history, and then you're at a family picnic, and you decide to get up and start telling the family about your... That my wife beats me. Yeah, and yeah. And abuses me emotionally. <laughs> and it's just like, um... You be, okay, now, I kind of get why he did this, because um, when Canada, as a country, states, oh, you know... Other people are committing human rights atrocities. Well, the first thing these people spout back is like, well, you treat your Indians like shit. And yeah. and the problem is, is our immediate response was, should be, we don't hang them. We don't kill them. We're not trying to kill them. We're trying to help them. They have rights. They can vote. They have yeah, better but they, access they, and to they, they, anything and yeah, everything. They got to be able to help themselves, too. Yeah. Like... Because they're like it's not, it's not my fault that a native man is living the way he is. Like we're not, you know what I mean? Like I've all, I've always hated that. When it's uh, like it's, I have always hated that too. It's our fault because they are living the. It's not my fault. How do what do I do? <laughs> for, okay, for that matter, it's not our fault simply because of this. Um, our grandma was native. She's full status. Our grandfather. Was well, actually an immigrant yeah, he's from Scotland. England. Yeah, England, Scotland. Um, on our father mom's was... side, uh, they are. They were. She's third generation or fourth generation yeah, Canadian, right. but also again immigrants. I just. <laughs> uh, it just baffles me, and like, I get that we got to take. We have to take care of our own. I understand that. Yeah. But at the same time, everybody needs to preach personal responsibility. If I'm an addict and the government just keeps handing that addict money, giving me money because, oh, I'm, I fall under these qualifications for help, but I'm not really helping myself, so I just keep using my money to buy drugs and to continue, then maybe at some point the government should be like, we're not going to help you anymore. You know, there ha so I have to be responsible. And so I expect everybody across the, the, the board to be responsible. And, and that's not a horrible thing to have to... Uh, require from people no. some sense of personal responsibility and now this is always a, an argument that people always will be having in Canada for a while but Trudeau basically uh, talked about climate change and Indians like how badly Canada treats their Indians and it's just like well uh, uh, Trump in his speech had a point um, uh, when you have on human rights committees countries that have horrible human rights records, that kind of is an affront to right what yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, to what it's supposed to stand for. And you know, yeah, we have a problem with the, uh, it. I just everybody. don't think it's going to end. I don't think there's there's no blanket answer to to ending human rights violations or, or, or climate change or anything. There's no blanket answer that is everybody's going to follow. I think it has to be, again, it has to fall to the individual. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, okay, we'll put it this way. For those people saying, oh, we have to save the planet, we have to save the planet, well, in your house, if you're, um, a fa you know, if you have a, a family, you know, mother, father, or husband, husband, wife, wife, however you, your family is, and two children, do you have one car or two cars? If you have two cars, you're a problem. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like, well, how are we supposed to get around? Well, you're wrecking the planet. You have two cars. Yeah. You shouldn't have two it's, cars. It's like, it's like those, it's, those stars who who talk about climate change and jets that are around and private jets, and it's like, well, what are you... Uh, okay, 
like Leonardo DiCaprio. He, yeah, no, no. It, it, it just it, doesn't make any sense to me. Do Am I a believer in climate change? I have no idea because I'm when it comes to science, I'm not, I don't understand it. I don't understand, but to me, to the normal, average Joe, yeah. when you show me a temperature index that's changed one or two degrees over a hundred years, I go, well, that's because we have seven billion people on the planet now. Would that not account for it? Yeah. Uh, there was actually a series called uh, Life After People on uh, the History Channel. And I watched it. It was really interesting. The, well, yeah, the premise I... behind it was if all people disappeared from the Earth, doesn't matter how, just gone, what would happen to the Earth? And one of the first things they said was the temperature of the world would drop three degrees. Just from... All the people gone. So maybe somebody out there who's a little bit smarter than us, who knows a little bit more of this, and I've, I've never been able to find anything like that. I just find a bunch of, like, whenever you look at climate change or you see somebody on Twitter or Facebook talking about it and you click into articles, it's just, to me, it's just it's just words. Many, many, many words to make yourself big words to sound smart. There's never been... Uh, there, when When you... I've said this before. When you are trying to speak to people... Speak to be understood. Not Don't speak to sound good. Speak to be understood. So when you come to me and use all this jargon, I go... Now, now okay, now, you have to use some jargon. Well, you have to. But in, in to. some cases, you have to dumb the jargon But look, down. look, at, look this, this translates... Look at why Trump got elected president of the United States. Because he, in a sense, he dumbed it down so, so average Joe understood what he was talking about. Well, for that matter, Trump... When he speaks, he uses words that other people actually yeah, use yeah. in their language. Whereas when a politician speak, they po- speak they, politician. Yeah, they speak politician. Where they, where they say yeah, they words, say nothing, but don't convey yeah. anything yeah. at all. So, like, do I believe in climate change? I have no idea because I, I, to me, I logically look at it and go, temperature change over a hundred years. Well, look at how many people. Like, look at. When you're in, I go like this, you're in an elevator, there's two of you, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. There's 25 of you, it's warm. Climate change. What, What makes it warmer in the elevator? People. 25 people. Am I, am I making it, does it? No, no. (laughs) Am I trying to take it down to a level that's so logical, it's illogical? (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? And and, and that's what, uh. This whole Trump effect is having is some things are so illogical that they are logical, and it just. I've been asking these questions for for five years. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and and we still don't get any answers yeah. because as soon as you start to have a coherent speech, people go, "Oh, you're a climate change denier. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a, racist. You're this. You're that." When you you're start a phobic, yeah. When you're you a start, phobic. when you start playing devil's advocate. Or looking at it from a different perspective, or trying to make sense of all sides. Your the one side calls you this, the one side calls you that. The this, the center calls you this, and you're like, what? Yeah, and uh, me? and Big what's down? happening right now is a lot of people are going f you. They're questioning. People are starting to ask questions, and people are starting to, and you can see it in all types of politics nowadays, from the United States to Canada federally to our city to uh, to everywhere. Everywhere people are starting to go, this yeah, doesn't make sense. It's starting to happen, and uh, people are starting to ask questions, which is... I'm not looking like an idiot anymore! <laughs> people are asking the questions I've been asking for years! <laughs> Woohoo! It's about time you caught up! Holy crap. That's Honestly, that's how I feel sometimes. Honestly? Yeah. That's oh, how no, I feel. No. It, it, it's... Because it, if you look back... It feels back, so nice to have... Oh, I've been asking those for years. It's about fucking time. If, if you look back at this... the almost, I don't even know how long we've been doing this channel for, if you look back at all of our political rants, you will see, on my side anyways, a very similar, similar trend from political discussion to political discussion. I've been the same. Hmm? You know what I mean? And most people you look at and go, you, like, I just don't understand. All politics are the same. To me, they're all just the same. You get to, Trump, for the first time that I've seen, is is it, is it different? Yeah, is it good? Maybe. Is it bad? I maybe. He's well, still undecided. The, 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 the thing what, with the problem with politics is sometimes it takes years to exactly fully realize mm-hmm. what the hell just happened. But, but people in the so, world can't. They don't. 
everybody's so short sighted. Uh, Every- everybody is the I need it now yeah. type thing it, because you know you touch a button now and things happen, mm-hmm. and this is the way people expect things. Is like no, sometimes it takes time, and this is what it's all about: is taking time. So, uh, so let it marinate sometimes. Yeah, let yeah. it, you know, it's like a good good bottle of wine. Sometimes you got to put it away and go. Leave that one for leave that one for years. yeah, and maybe it'll come out better. And uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I we're obviously Trump's going to be in four years. We're going to talk more about Trump. Oh Trump yeah, yeah, gonna he's going to show gonna, up. We're going to all you know, who knows? Maybe we'll be dead before Trump even has a chance to go four years because we'll be nuked. Yeah, hopefully Canada doesn't get nuked. Well. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll put a big sign that says, USA, this way. Yeah, yeah. Hey, North Korea, they're down there, not us. Okay? Not Canada, please. So, yeah. Goodbye, Trump. Goodbye, we'll Trump. You. Goodbye. It's been fun. Yeah, it actually has been an entertaining <laughs> ride, to say the least. So, there you go. Thanks for the laughs. And we'll see ya. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Yeah. See you tomorrow.